In this video I'll be showing you how to make an opening intro logo that looks something like this. Before we start, you'll need two things. The first thing is an image or logo that you would like to use for the intro. The second thing is another scene that you want to load after your intro is over. In my case, I'll be using a main menu scene. In Godot, start by making a new scene and add the following nodes to it. Once you've added all the nodes, select your sprite node and drag the image that you want to use into the sprite's texture property. Reposition the sprite to where you want it to be. Next, select the color rectangle and position it to fit over the entire view. In case you didn't know, these lines here show what the user will be able to see once they run the game. It doesn't really matter if your color rectangle goes outside these lines, just make sure that it's completely covered on the inside. Once you've done that, head over to the color property and change the color to black. The next step is to add the fade in and fade out animations. To do this, select the animation player node, head on to animation and select new. Call this animation fade in. Head down to the bottom right and change the animation's length from 1 to 3 seconds. Now head on over to the animation track and move the slider from 1 to 0. Select your color rectangle and head on over to the color property. Click this small key icon that's next to the color property. If this window pops up, click create. Once you've done that, grab the slider again and move it on over to 3. Head back to the color property and change the alpha down to 0. This should make the rectangle transparent. Then just click the key again. That should be the faded animation done. You can move the slider back to 0 and hit the play button to see how it looks. The values I use in this animation are just my personal preferences, but feel free to use whatever values work best for you. Before we get into the code, you'll also need a fade out animation. Create a new animation the same way you made the first animation and call it fade out. Again, change the time from 1 to 3. This time we'll be starting at 0. Select your color rectangle and, and make sure that it's at the transparent color. If it is, then insert a key. Now move the slider over to 2. Select your color rectangle again and change the color back to black by increasing the alpha all the way up. Insert another key here. And that's your fade out animation done. Now let's get into the code. Select your node 2D and add a script. Call it something like intro. Here's the code we'll be using. I'm not going to type it out, but I'll try my best to explain it to you. Firstly, we're printing all the code inside of the ready function. This is because we want it to run as soon as the scene is loaded. What this first line of code does is get the animation player node and place the animation called fade in. Second line of code creates a timer that lasts for 6 seconds. No other lines of code will be executed until the timer is finished. If you changed any values during the animation stage, you'll probably want to change these values too. To work out how long you should set your timer, take the length of your fade-in animation and combine it with how long you want your logo to be displayed on screen. In my case, my fade-in animation is 3 seconds long and I want my logo to be displayed on screen for a further 3 seconds, so I would set my timer to 6. The third line of code is exactly the same as the first line, but this time plays the fade-out animation instead. The fourth line of code creates a timer that lasts for 3 seconds. You should set this timer to match the length of your fade out animation. In my case, it's 3 seconds long. The last line of code changes the scene from the current one to my main menu scene. Here you should put whatever scene you want to switch to. Thanks for watching. The video on the right is a video that YouTube thinks you'll like, so consider checking it out. If this video was any help to you, please consider leaving a like as it would help me more than you'd think. Oh, and of course, subscribe.